Welcome back. Women-owned businesses are all around Western New York, and our next guests have even taken their jewels to international destinations. Welcome, Nicole and Chaton of Francy Jewelry. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. How are you? Us. Let's start off by talking about Francy Jewelry and how it got started. So, uh, basically, I started making jewelry about... I think it's been 14 years now. Just at my kitchen table, I was inspired to start a collection, and you know, I got it in a couple stores on Elmwood, and then started doing Fashion Week, and you know, from there, just things kind of took off for me. Well, speaking of taking off, today is an exciting day for your brand and continuing to grow and elevate. So tell us about it. So today, we launched our handbag collection and website. All of our handbags are available for pre-order today, so we're really excited about that. Um, and we have jewelry that is available for purchase right now on the website, so we went live at midnight. Congratulations. Talk to us about your venture from jewelry. You've, you make very much statement pieces in yes. your jewelry. Yes. And I, t I was telling her in the break, I was like, I didn't even know you didn't have a handbag <laughs> because it just, makes, it just makes sense for right. you. So yeah. tell us about how you kind of transitioned and what goes into now making bags. So honestly, I always wanted to make handbags. It was always a dream of mine, um, but when I started Started with jewelry it was I kind of just needed something that I could make with my hands and start and I kept saying for years I'm gonna do handbags I'm gonna do handbags and then last year I just said I'm gonna do it now mm -hmm. <laughs> the time is now. yeah what am I now. waiting for <laughs> now <laughs> and, and let's talk about this partnership because you know we we talk about women-owned businesses and part of having a business is partnership yes. and having partners that you can trust and mm -hmm. grow in. Kind of talk about how that works for you too. Well, she's my best friend mm -hmm. and she asked me in 2019 to uh, join her to handle the more operations and business side so she can flourish in her creativity. So I happily, you know, jumped on board. She said, we got this. We <laughs> To, for her words exactly. <laughs> and we do have this. Yes. And I'm so excited to partner with my best friend. And I would like, you know, for us to see how partnership can flourish with with uh, a, a friend. Yeah. And, and women in general. Right. You know, there's right. so much negativity out there about women not getting along. And that's just not true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we mentioned it, but you guys have taking your brand internationally. You were at pa Paris Fashion Week, right? Last, last, last March. Last yeah. March, congratulations. <laughs> Thank That's you. That's so amazing. What advice do you have for other uh, female business owners and especially designers starting to, trying to start their own brand? I would just say, believe in yourself. You know, you have to believe in yourself. And that's really what Francie is all about, because I didn't always believe in myself. And it's about, you know, not just where I was, but who I've become. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just believe in yourself and your abilities and don't let anything or anybody stop you. Mm -hmm. Have you always loved Paris? Paris, yeah. So Francie, Francis is my middle name. Okay. And Francie is French mm -hmm. for Francis. Mm -hmm. And I always wanted to make it to Paris, not realizing that the first time I made it to Paris would be my designs in fashion week. Incredible, your first time. Okay, well that's a flex. Congratulations <laughs> on you guys and your incredible success so far. Viewers, if you would like to find out more information, you can always keep up with their jewels and their drip and connect with them on social media and their website at francybynicoledavis.com. Thanks for coming in, ladies. Oh, thank, thank you so you much. Thank, thank you so much.